Hello guys, welcome to part 7 of our peer-to-peer -peer file sharing video, um, video. This part we will cover mainly talking to our peer. So from the previous video, we're going to run it right now and see what we left off. So we've got our three peers here. So once we enter a name, just any name, we get our, like our peer unique URI. We do the same for the other one. We get the same. At this moment in time, our, the peer services is not running. We don't have any peer in our peer collection. So this is this is where we're going to work on this video. So we stop running it. Then we come to our peer host service host dot cs. Our peer service host is inside the file dot test peer peer host service folder. So we scroll down to run peer service host. We go down again. And then where we've got else uh, no records for username we remove the else and matter of fact we don't even want no list and what we would do is we put an if statement if um, configure peer dot stat peer service so if else we write something here error starting up peer service sys so inside here, what we do is we write something to our console. We say peer services started, and then what we would do is we call um, our peer dot channel dot ping then we pass in our port con register uh, co peer config configure peer dot port then re peer register or register peer dot peer uri so for now we we, we f5 it and see what's going on and see what we get from it. So now we enter in a name. Fun. So resolve resolving fun. And then you see the peer service started. Yay! From peer. So if we look, if we start because right now we've got one peer, we will just minimize it a little bit here. We we get another peer here. We enter our peer, uh, any a username, GTR, whatever. So we wait, you see, we've got our peer URI sent, see, P0E. And this is our peer P0E. So for more, we will we will name give this one a username to see as well. We give it any name. See so we wait. See? This peer got it. So as you can see. They all, they've all got the response. So what we would do here next is we go into the ping service. 
what we do is we, we just comment here and what we do now is we, we initiate the variable called host that will be dns dot get host entry we pass in our peer URI and what we do is we write something here new peer entered then what we do is let's say peer and point details so what we do here is we just say um, host dot address list dot to list we check if it's not empty then for each address inside uh, the list we write it out so what we do is write in order because the endpoints or any URI contains multiple addresses so it is important that we specify that we say IP or oh, let's endpoint let's put endpoint and we put the P then we put the port as well so everything come up nice so we go ahead and F5 again so this time we're just gonna minimize gonna put all of the three stack them up in this window so I can see whatever going on here then we've got this okay we can just name this one first if we can say G T whatever so as you can see We've, it resolved its own this is the the first endpoint for the first because this did, they did not get the pain message because they are not still registered so we go ahead and register we say Tim as this is resolved we see that the message will come through so I say young see see so as you can see they've all received it so what we do we just on the side of the ping to to see how it's working here we just remove it and we just do while true so we can just keep on tapping to see the, the, the more you see we get the more real time we f5 again minimize it So it's just an endless loop, so we, we gotta do something about this. So what we do is
Let's enter to continue. So register register this GTR E C register the last one So as you can see, all the peers are getting. So now, if 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 I if I press, let me put it somewhere that we can see both of them properly. So if I press enter here, what you'll be doing it will it will be sending. Hold on, Whoa. I mean, obviously you got the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> it keeps escaping. So, I mean, now we've resolved our PS. We can connect. We can connect to our peer to peer services. And the next mo the next video, we we'll look into connecting directly to a peer. So we can establish a direct connection between peer or one to one peer or one to many peers. So we will also look into building our services to host and render the services of the file sharing. So we will actually look into using WCF, either WCF or Web API to, to, to render that services. Obviously, if I'm going to use Web API, I will be using the, the self-hosted version of it. So thanks for this video and hopefully I'll get the next video wraps up as quickly as possible. Bye-bye.